What is going on everybody? This is Strydox here. I gotta wear my headset in this video because, okay, I gotta be able to hear what is going on. And what we're about to watch is 12 most things, 12 things most people cannot do. And let me go ahead and tell you something. I can do every single one of them. Let's go. Ah. Okay. 12 things that most humans can't this do. This is easy. Easy. Number 12. Let's go. Eat a spoonful All right. of cinnamon. Ground cinnamon may be a tasty baking addition, but it's impossible to eat on its own for most people. It, it, Attempting what? to do so will likely burn the inside of your throat and send you into a violent coughing fit. Cinnamon is actually the raw form of tree bark that's been ground into dust. Tree bark? It's insoluble in water, so it's not surprising that humans have such an intensely negative reaction to it. There are countless online videos of people trying to conquer the cinnamon challenge, oh. where a spoonful of powder is ingested. What? They're not doing it right. Dead now, so unless you're in the minority of people who can safely swallow it, I wouldn't try it. Huh. Okay, they say it's tough. They say it's tough to do a cinnamon challenge? You would have thought it was tough. Dab on them. Number 11. Can you split or roll your tongue? Perform a reverse T? Flip your tongue 180 degrees or make shapes like a spaceship or clover leaf? These strange manipulations of our most malleable organ are a pretty neat party trick. I'm pretty sure Tony Hawk did them before picking up his first skateboard. These all require muscle control and tongue dexterity. Some claim that they're genetic traits, though this is heavily debated. Approximately 75% of the population can roll their tongues, but genetics isn't the only factor. As some case studies show, what? children who can manipulate their tongues born from parents who couldn't. Whatever the mysterious origin of these tricks is, they're quite impressive. Only the hardcore should attempt them, though, as they come with pretty serious risk of tongue. Are you in the minority of people who can wiggle their ears? Ah, oh, slizzy! But only in conjunction oh, with man. their eyebrows, which is easy out you here. Think you're constipated. Let me see. According to a 2006 ear wiggling study, the mechanism behind ear movements is surprisingly oh, yeah. sophisticated. Oh yeah, y'all seen that? 100 percent, right? Muscles. Ear muscles have their own accessory nucleus in the brain. Oh yeah. This is basically the easy peasy lemon freaking squeezy. Come at me! Cats, I'm three for three right now. Elements. Let's Which go. Is why most of us ever tried touching your nose or chin with your tongue? Many have, and it's a lot harder than you think. It's thought that only 10% of the okay. population this can is, perform this is attack, easy. Which is easy. I got happens. this. In some Freaking cases, got this. This is happening right now. Let's go. Making plays out of here. Let's go. Ah. Number eight, fist in mouth. People who can fit their entire fists into their mouths are a rare anomaly. For most, it's a what? feat. The majority of the population can only get half or barely a quarter of their fist into their, their whole mouth. fist in their mouth. They've done studies on this stuff. Successfully fitting your entire fist into your mouth requires both a large mouth and small hands. Yep, just like a T-Rex. Although this trick has a slightly sexual connotation, babies are the ones who attempt it the most. Dude! Usually when teething or discovering their body parts for the first time. If you aren't confident you can pull this off, it's best not to try. How am I going to do this? Stuck in your mouth. <laughs> you know that Open eyes sneezing? When you're about to sneeze? Yeah. It's like a particle cannon charging in your nose, preparing to obliterate everything in its path. Exactly. It seems to come about when you're somewhere quiet or crowded, That's me. Like okay. Like a library or crowded train carriage. Have you ever noticed that the overwhelming majority of humans sneeze with their eyes closed? Try it yourself. It's nearly impossible to launch a spread fire of mucus with your eyes open. One impossible? One the theory is that this is to... Impossible. They just used the word impossible with me. You, you want to see me sneeze with my eyes open? Oh god. Oh god. I'm catching a sneeze. I'm catching a sneeze! Uh, 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 uh. Oh my god. Wait, did I just sneeze with my eyes open? Autofellatio. Autofellatio Auto is the act of a man performing oral sex on himself. It's something that many men have probably contemplated since the first time they saw a dog lick its own privates, and cynics would say it's the real reason men practice yoga. According to sex researcher Kinsey, two to three out of every thousand men have the flexibility to perform this act. The number what? of injured their backs trying is unknown. 
According to a popular myth, alternative rocker Marilyn Manson had his lower vertebrae removed so he could perform auto fellatio. Uh, that's hardcore. Yeah, I'm I'm going to skip over that one. Tickle yourself. We all have Tickle yourself. Okay. Love ones love to zero in on. Being tickled makes us laugh, squirm, and sometimes pee a little. And if you're anything like me, it makes you reflexively punch and kick everyone within reach. Oh my gosh. Being tickled is one of the most vulnerable states we can find ourselves in. I hate being tickled. Well, unfortunately, you're out of luck if you want to have a good, clean, solo tickle session. On paper, it might sound easy to do, but in practice, it's nearly impossible to genuinely tickle There she goes, saying impossible again. Always brace for the touch. This is because of an area at the back of the brain called the cerebellum. The cerebellum mm -hmm. plays okay. a role in monitoring movements, and studies have shown that it can predict sensations caused by our own movements, but not Dude, someone else's. I got this. Unless there is a disconnect between you and your subconscious mind, your touch will always be anticipated. Oh god, god no, 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 stop, stop, stop it, stop, god. oh my god. <laughs> Raise one eyebrow. Raising your Easy! Or in bewilderment is one awesome life skill. Virtually oh, everyone okay. can raise both eyebrows, but only a portion of the population can raise one at a time. That is, without moving the other at all. Those with the power to manipulate a single brow can usually only do it with one of our two eyebrows. However, with practice you can build up the connection between your nerves and muscles and be cocking eyebrows with the best of them. It's believed raising your eyebrows is an evolutionary trait, as hmm. mandrels, baboons, and capuchin monkeys raise their eyebrows as a threat gesture. Number two, lick your elbow. Your tongue and your elbow are tragic lovers who desperately want to be together, but can't because they're disapproving parents. Your Licking your elbow, huh? Won't let them. It's just about impossible for people to lick their elbows. Try it now. Just make sure you're alone, though, or you may be committed. Apparently, <sighs> there are techniques that can be learned to get around this. <sighs> most require you to <sighs> <have less sighs> <than> <sighs> <a really> short <sighs> Number one, gleeking. Gleeking is the hottest new trend. All the kids are doing it. It's better than twerking and planking and even <laughs> the moonwalk. Gleeking is the term for when you project saliva from the submandular gland after compressing it with your tongue. This means you stimulate the saliva glands under your tongue to spit a concentrated jet of saliva. Yes, like a camel. Sometimes this happens by accident when you yawn or when you're being operated on at the dentist. But doing it deliberately and at will is a oh, dude. To possess. I got this. And tongue dexterity. I freaking got it's this. Easier to do after eating sweet or tangy candy. If you think the word gleek is some newfangled internet term, <laughs> it may interest you to learn that it appeared in Shakespeare's A Midsummer Night's Dream. Really now, okay. Bottom says, nay, bottom. I gleek upon occasion. Of course, it meant something entirely different there, but Shakespeare's still down with the kids. Oh man, Thanks. I can freaking gleek. I am the gleek king. I am the gleek king. Alright guys, I really hope y'all enjoyed that video. It was a definitely it was definitely fun to make, man. I hope y'all enjoyed this video. I really hope y'all do, man. Um, if y'all want me to make more videos like this, let me know in the comments below. Like the video, share the video, and say hello to Tank. What's up, Tank? You are on YouTube. What's up? But thank y'all so much for watching, guys. I love y'all and never forget, positivity attracts positivity. Positivity, attracts positivity. Strive fan for life. Peace.